What's going on, folks? Ty from the Bench Clear team. Tonight we have a really fun episode. Mike, the baseball collector, Tucson, Ed, and Luke from Up North Collectors. We are breaking down some of the best gifts to give for, for hobbyists um, this Christmas. And so we break it down into multiple categories. We realize everyone's in different situations. We go under 20, under 50, under 200, under 500. We try to give our suggestions for maybe uh, the, uh, the, the gifts that people don't normally think about. So hopefully it's uh, hopefully it opens your eyes and gets you some ideas um, to get that hobbyist in your family or, or in your circle. Um, we also provide some honorable mentions at the end to some other gifts that we think are really fun and maybe don't fall on the normal list. Um, but uh, we try to mix it up, have a little good time in there too. And uh, be sure to pay attention because we're also giving away a $50 eBay gift card, something you can use to buy those gifts. Um, as well. So be sure to look for the question that you need to a answer in the comments below. And uh, and also, really important note, every gift we mention, we've listed below in the show notes. You can find the link to each one of those gifts to take you there to make the purchase. Um, if you click those links, we do get on a couple of those, we get affiliate commissions, a couple percentage points. Uh, it helps us out. But if not, no worries. You can go search and find it yourself anyway. So anyway, enjoy the conversation. Thanks for watching and please be sure to subscribe. Thanks. What's up guys? Ho, What's ho, up, ho. Ty? Well, how's it going? You look uh, really, really cold out there. You and uh, Ed <laughs> look like y'all should have jacket. Oh, Ed does have a jacket on, but it's man. freezing. Brr. His is fake snow. Mine's a real snow. And Luke <laughs> is really real snow. There's real snow outside right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't show it if it's real. Exactly. Yeah. How much snow do you get a year, Luke? I think here we get like a hundred high hundreds, like one fifty to one eighty. But like way up north it's like two, three, four hundred inches of snow depending on the year. Insane. Our average is thirty three inches <laughs> in Kansas City. Our average is zero inches. Me too. We might be negative. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> well, hey, I you guys look great with your hats. So thanks for uh, sucking up your pride. Yours actually says Merry Christmas. <laughs> Do you play Santa for your family, Mike? Surely, no? No. Okay. I, I am fat and jolly. I wasn't here. Actually, I wasn't simulating this. Yes. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, tonight's going to be fun because we're going to talk about holiday gifts, all hobby related. Parents that are watching, kids that are watching. We're trying to we're going to try to break this down by tier just to give everyone suggestions. We thought about this a couple weeks ago and we're like, gosh, we've all received gifts and now it's more expensive to buy gifts, but we could probably help people that are interested in getting gifts for friends and family and all that good stuff. So don't forget spouses too. Yeah. Well, I mean, our spouse episode, well, we talked about that. Yeah. It's, and what's great is you can share this link, share this video with your friends and family. If you're watching it and be like, go watch at six minutes or wherever you see a good idea. And hopefully that'll spark you getting some great gifts that you actually want <laughs> instead of socks <laughs> or underwear. <laughs> Hey, I'm sure PSA makes a nice pair of socks, okay? Right, right. <laughs> well, uh, for those that are just tuning in, you can check out the, the show notes and find links for every gift that we give in every category. Some of them may be, might be affiliate links, so we might get like 2% of that particular Woo! transaction. So, hey, good for us. Um, what is your favorite holiday hobby-related gift that you've received? And when, when was the last one you received? Curious. I guess I'll start. I, I remember Julie's bought me some boxes before in the past when I was, uh, when we were newly married and I, I don't remember pulling anything particularly amazing. It was, that had to be the early 2000s. So there wasn't, you know, it was just boxes and I wish I could tell you I've gotten like amazing Christmas gifts but it's hard. And that's kind of the reason we want to do this episode. It's so hard because it's like buying your, a guy, a tie or a shirt, you know, you gotta, there's so many, so much nuance to that. And so many particulars that if you, it's, 
you don't want to screw it up, you know, because there's no usually like, I guess you could return it on eBay or something, but <laughs> you buy it at a store, you're kind of, you don't want to mess it up. So we want to give you guys some tips on what to do. Luke, Other stories? Yeah, of course. I get lucky because, you know, my father does this with me. So um, I think I don't know how, it was a couple years ago, I think, when Prism was still affordable. Um, and <laughs> I've actually gotten like a Prism basketball blaster like every year for Christmas for a while. But one year I got like not this year. Not this year, but a fairly complete rainbow. I didn't have like the super low numbered stuff of Julian Edelman, who's my favorite player uh, for the Patriots, Prism Rainbow. So that was really cool. Um, That was definitely the most memorable. Nice. Nice. All right. Well, Ty, you can probably guess what my answer is (laughs) because I'm always the oddball. Uh, I don't really ever get any hobby stuff for Christmas, uh, to be honest. Um, I don't really ask for it. Um, I get yeah. so much during the year that I buy for myself that um, I don't know. I, I've never really gotten any hobby related gifts for Christmas at all. Well, so. if you're good this year, maybe Santa will surprise you. Yeah. <laughs> Though I did, you know, we did have the Secret Santa episode last year. So that was probably. Oh, incredible uh, episode, by the way. You know. Yeah. So I guess I would have to give it to that. You know, yeah. the the community giving me the, the Yaz rookie and the. Ted Williams autograph eight by 10. I'll um, put a link to that show. Cause that was one of my so, favorite shows of, of yeah. last year for sure. Uh, I have to go all the way back to when I was a kid. I remember my parents like stuffing collector's choice packs in my stocking. Cause that was what they would grab is 99 cents. I'm like, ah, you know, it's still get the whole hill. And I, of course I loved it. Uh, but they were like, the corners were dented. It didn't matter. Like they were jamming in the stocking, but <laughs> I don't think Nobody they had cared back then. Them. What's that? Nobody cared back then. No. Nope. About yeah. condition. That's very true. That's very true. If you if you could put any Christmas movie on in the background while you're opening cards, which Christmas movie would it be? Christmas Vacation, man. Come on. Christmas Story. Elf, I think. Elf for me. Those are my three favorite Christmas movies, so I wouldn't be yep. mad with any of those being <laughs> in the background. But uh, I'm going jingle all the way for me. And it almost seems fitting now with like the pursuit <laughs> of that one gift. It's like yeah. everyone chasing that one prison box. <laughs> Except now it's like 50 different gifts that you can't get. Yeah, yeah very true. Very true. I just always want to sing Meli Kaliki Maka is the thing <laughs> to say. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Hey, Ty, real quick, you can cut this out. When you ask a question, you might want to just lead into somebody. I'm not cutting that out. (laughs) (laughs) He's not a very good interviewer. He doesn't. He's used to only interviewing one person. Right. (laughs) This is not an interview. This is a round table. We're going to chill out. (laughs) So we're all like, uh, uh, okay. (laughs) Who's going to go first? All right. Just always go Mike, me. Luke Ty, because that's the way it goes on a clock on my screen. How's that? You know, people are so so used to Zoom these days and like the awkwardness of Zoom. This is so natural. <laughs> this has to stay in the video. Please leave this in the video. <laughs> All right. So be- before we get into the categories, let's let's talk a little bit about strategies for buying Christmas gifts, some tips. Uh, and I'll start with Mike, because I think you have some ideas for just kind of leading people down the right path for finding the right gifts. What what are your thoughts on that? Yeah. So obviously where do we buy most of our sports cards? It's eBay, right? I mean, that's where most people go and that's such a no brainer thing for people. I get it. But at the same time, you can share eBay listings with people. You can send them through text or whatever, or email. And I don't know why people aren't just more upfront and on like, I want this card, you know? And if you magically see it disappear from your watch list, cause it's been sold, you might have an idea of what you're getting for Christmas. But the point is that you can share those links, send them to people. I mean, don't be afraid to do that because you're going to get a card then that you want instead of don't let people guess. That's the last thing. I mean, Julie tells me all the time, don't make me guess. I don't want to have to guess because I don't want to be wrong. 
And usually Christmas, you're going to get maybe a little bit higher end item than you would normally. Uh, so you don't want that to be done incorrectly. And so you can share those links. You can also share favorite websites like Four Sharp Corners and uh, Mill, Mill, Mill Creek Sports. There's a lot of different websites out there that you can send to your friends and family that might be looking and you might say, hey, here's my favorite player and you know, whatever. And they, they can go shop for you that way directly. And believe it or not, there's a lot of sports cards on Amazon too. Uh, if you want to go look, especially, you know, if you want to look for unopened boxes or sets or all kinds of stuff. And there's one thing I think that, be, that people need to really consider. And that is getting baseball card books are great. Speaking of Amazon, uh, there's so many out there that, and they're all great reads. And I'm just saying, don't just limit it to sports cards or boxes or whatever. Think outside the box. And I think asking for books to, you know, increase your knowledge and broaden your uh, spectrum in the hobby is always a good idea. So that's my thoughts. Nice. Move on to the next person. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> getting uh, in here, getting uncomfortable. Awkward. awkward. <laughs> you need to put a filter on their their eBay account and check everything they search for. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, is he going here? Is he really going here? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I I, I hear you. Uh. Let, let's get into the items because I do. I think the book idea, I think it comes up for a couple of us anyway. There's some great books uh, and subscriptions and things that aren't really like normal hobby related gifts that we can we can add to the list. Um, any other thoughts? You guys good? You guys ready to jump into this? Let's go. Okay. Before we do that, though, why did Santa's helper feel sad? Dad joke time. Anybody know? Because he had low elf esteem. God, that's so bad. <laughs> wasn't even a good dad joke. <laughs> oh, come that's on. You know that was good. Even Luke says it's terrible. Luke rolls his eyes. Like, this is it, was, it was not good. That was really <laughs> <laughs> Did you run that one past all the kids first? Uh, uh, no, I didn't. No. I didn't, didn't want to didn't didn't risk it. You're going to risk it. All right. Let's start with gifts under 20 bucks. Gifts that we should hopefully all be able to afford. Um, and uh, I tell you what, let's start with you, Luke. And I'll pull up what you're going to be talking about. What is the gift under $20 that you think someone would be interested in? Somewhat hobby related. So what I picked for the under $20 is a photo light box. I think that's what it's called. It's kind of, it doesn't really have a name. I don't know. Um, it's just like a little white box, a photo studio, um, and it's lighted. So you can plug it in, it lights up, um, and it, it allows you to take really, really nice pictures of your cards, whether it be for listing on eBay, if you like keeping, you know, instead of carrying around cards, you can just take a picture on your phone, show people what you have. Um, different different backgrounds and stuff. It just makes your cards look way, way better than taking a picture on a kitchen counter or something. So um, pretty cheap and they're pretty well made too. We have a couple of these at home and they work great uh, for a lot of different things. Awesome idea. I just got a, a little photo shoot kit a week ago and I've been taking pictures. I'd never had them before. Incredible. They're absolutely incredible. Yeah, they are. Cool. Yeah. Is it Great good for video. videos too, Luke? Like if you were to I, shoot YouTube on it? Yeah, it's with, not bad. I would, I don't know. I've never tried it. I mean, taking pictures is, you know, more its purpose, but I'm sure you could take a video. I don't know how movement would look with it, but. Well, they're tiny. Yeah. Right. I mean, you fit okay. like little items in them. You just shove your hands in it. It's like, <laughs> like you're going through the cards. <laughs> um, Great like gift. I love that idea. That like is Apple commercial. Passion. All right, Ed, what about you? Under 20 bucks. What do you got? Uh, yeah, the Ultra Pro nine pocket binders. I really like these binders. Um, you know, they don't have the uh, the snap rings. They're side loading. It's a little bit easier to get cards in and out, I feel like. Um, 
And I just like the way they look on the shelf. You know, they don't like if they're not all the way full, they're not like all awkward. Um, mm. So, yeah, I use them for a lot of my collection. And they're front back too, right? The pages are. Yep. And they make uh, they make four pocket ones too. Like I guess if you want, you know, you don't collect somebody as much if you want a smaller book. Uh, they make those also. And they come in a bunch of different colors also. And it wasn't Mike, quite these under twenty dollars, but you know it was close. Yeah, yeah, these these are great, Mike. You had ones. I don't think they're twenty bucks or or less, but you could actually put you know lettering down the side of them that I've mm. seen in your closet. Yeah, those are more archival photograph binders. Oh, got it. They're, okay, they're slightly more expensive, but these are great. I have friends that use these and they love them. So there you go, five star rating. Hundred ratings. That's kind of unusual. Cool. All right. Twenty bucks, forty-four cents. You're gonna front the forty-four cents. <laughs> All right. Here's mine. Uh, 1995. I will never sort cards again without a sorting tray. Um, these are absolutely phenomenal to have. Uh, I have four or five laying around, and when products come in or we're opening cards with the kids, we just get the trays out, sort them, put them into the sets, or whatever insert sets keeps them nice and clean. And uh, for parents that are watching, it, it removes some of the clutter of stacks of cards everywhere. Yeah. Um, so highly recommend the sorting tray. You guys use sorting trays? Yes. Yep. You, need, you need two if you're sorting by teams, but uh, yeah, I always have two of them there sorting by teams. I don't break new product, so I don't need a sorting tray. I'm, you got new products sitting in your room right now. I do. I have the same product that Luke opened a couple weeks ago. We got a little prism basketball draft. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Mike, do you have anything under 20 bucks you want to bring up? Or are you good? I'm good. Keep going. You good? Um, what do you get if you eat Christmas decorations? Tinselitis. Oh. Come on, Luke. So, oh, we can't even see Luke. Luke's even so see embarrassed. Luke. Yeah, you got him you got him <laughs> covered up by the No. I'm and glad I'm looking at sorting trays. I mean, come on. Oh, An you amateur couldn't see hour. Him rolling his eyes because it was covering his face. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. All right. Well, I tell you what, we'll remove that. So sorry. I'm trying to navigate StreamYard here. Uh, okay, well, let's, let's move into the gifts under 50 bucks. I think those are three good gifts. Gifts under 50 bucks. And Ed, we're going to start with you. What do you think? Under 50 bucks, what are you going with? All right, so um, as most of you know, I am a board game, tabletop game fanatic. Um, Clutch Baseball is not only a collectible card game, uh, but it's baseball. Uh, obviously, they don't have the MLB rights, so there's no pictures on the cards. They do have the players association. So there are real players, um, but this is a collectible, like you buy packs of cards um, and it's a full on tabletop baseball game that you, you draft your team with the cards you have, you know, they're worth points. And you have points. Whoa. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a really fun tabletop baseball game, but also has that um, collection. It's actually, if you guys remember a game, from the early 2000s it's called MLB Showdown. Hmm. This is kind of like the um, reinvention of that. Uh, the rules are very similar, but it, it added some more rules to it. Um, so if you're into playing games with the family um, and collecting cards at the same time, very, very cool, very fun game. I've never seen this. That's pretty cool. Nobody watching this has ever seen it, I bet. Yeah, I guess. Luke, would you sit down and play? Would you play this game? I would play. It looks fun. I don't know. I've never played any game like that, so but I'd definitely be down to try. Okay. All right. There you go. Validated. It's a good time. All right, Luke. Under 50 bucks. What are you going with? All right. I've got something that we use a lot. I don't know where it is. It's probably outside somewhere, but... Um, it is a magnifying light, um, and we use this to examine cards for sending off to grading. 
Um, so if you or, you know, whoever you're buying a gift for likes grading, this is kind of a must have. Um, it illuminates the cards. It, you know, allows you to see basically anything on them. Great for looking at stuff that's hard to see, like surface, um, corners, edges, whiting, all kinds of different stuff. Serial um, numbers. Exactly. I mean, depending on the card, but it, 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 it is really, really handy. Um, we use it all the time. So, well, definitely. Still working on his meds? I guess so. <laughs> How do I take these? Well, they're really trying to reach a certain audience here, aren't they? <laughs> hey, I, I don't think I don't think I the showed card you game. mine. So, <laughs> uh, do you get the three diopter or the five diopter? We have the three, I believe, um, okay. but I don't, I don't think it matters that much. What What is the diopter? Is that like the like level of magnification? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think that just a little bit more magnified. Nice. Ed, do you use those? I just showed mine right here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to look at serial numbers for like short prints. I sometimes I have to take that out and just like look through the cards. I'm old. Beautiful. Okay. Well done. Uh, Mike, do you have anything under 50 bucks? Well, I actually thought of something under twenty dollars that I wanted to show, and I've shared my screen with you. I'm just, <laughs> gosh, this guy. You can Ty's share my screen, please. Golly, so there you go. There's a lot of people that that ha may not have heard of Superior Fit Innovations. They used to be called Perfect Fit Sleeves, and I've got a pack right here of them. Uh, they are phenomenal for whatever slab you have. They've got a sleeve for it. And it makes, I'm, I don't know how to say this and anybody that's used him might agree, especially if you guys have used them before, it actually makes the card look better. <laughs> it enhances the slab, which I don't know. I can't answer why, or people think I'm full of it, but you put your slabs in these and they will pop. They will really look great. And they've got all sizes. They're all incredibly reasonable um, for everything you can imagine. Go on here and go to their website, Superior Fit Innovations, and buy your favorite hobbyists or tell your friends and family to buy you some Perfect Fit sleeves. You will never go back once you buy them, I promise. So, what, uh, what do you, what's the set you, or the pack you normally buy? Um, well, like these are for PSA. Okay. You can buy PSA regular, you can buy Thick Holders, BGS, SGC, they have them, Tall Boys, you name it. But uh, these come in packs of 50, so... And they're like four dollars, five dollars for a pack, and plus shipping. So it's it's well well worth it. Do any of you guys use Perfect Fit sleeves? We have all of our PSA and SGC stuff in Perfect Fit sleeves. We switched them over like a couple months ago, and we will never go back. They are awesome. <laughs> I told you, I'm telling you. Do they flip yeah. and steal, or they just sleeve the card? Uh, you peel and peel and stick them, and they're okay. they're resealable. Gotcha. But they are phenomenal. I have all of my slabs in them. I, I went through one day and I went just changed them all out. It took me dang near a day, but it was fun. So, so that's my under twenty dollar. Okay. Well, maybe when we get to under two hundred, you can think about your under fifty. <laughs> <sighs> all right. Let me talk about my under fifty real quick. And then I know you guys are excited about this. I have another joke for you. Um, okay. I know top loaders are so hard to find. Um, this is the ones that I've bought multiple times. It's a hundred three by four top loaders and it comes with a hundred sleeves. Um, always in stock, it's 40 bucks. It's a nice, easy pack to wrap up. Um, so if you're looking to get some top loaders really quickly, Amazon Prime shipping, uh, this is a great one to get. So I bought again, when I'm in a bot, when I'm in a pinch, I go grab these real quick. Cause like, I know I need them for, submissions or something now the PSA is accepting them. Yep. I've grabbed them. I think I've grabbed that same one the last few times because my distributor has been out of them for yeah. a while now. I know. I know. So there you go. Do you use Ultra Pro for anything? I do. Yeah. I mean I my you guys, yeah. you guys yeah. all we my do. uh pocket pages, all my pages are Ultra Pro. Awesome. Yeah. 40 bucks. I mean I it's I want to say that was probably 25 bucks just six months ago, but 40 bucks is still somewhat reasonable. Crazy. All right. 
What do you call a snow monster that has a six pack? An abdominal snowman. Ad abdominal snowman. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a we got a I get a cookie uh, or something? <laughs> you get a cookie? Uh nice, nicely done. Right, no more jokes for you guys. Forget it. I cut you out there, Luke. I know you're giving the thumbs up. All right. <laughs> Gifts under $200. We're getting into that, that upper tier. We're going to go 200, 500. We're even, I think some of us have a couple thousand dollar gifts. Maybe we don't, but let's go 200 and 500 gifts under 200. Let's start with, um, let's start with you, Luke. What, uh, what gift you got under 200 bucks? So under 200, I have the boom box, which is something that we've purchased a lot. It actually has a few multiple like tiers of pricing, but if you want to get sealed product of any sport, you know, so whatever, uh, whoever you're buying for collects, uh, any sport, baseball, basketball, football, I think they have hockey too. Um, but they have the platinum is, you know, kind of the one that I was gearing more towards. It's $150, I believe for basketball and football, and then like 110 for baseball. Um, but you get like six to 10 higher end sealed packs in each of them. Um, usually hobby or higher end retail packs and, uh, they're super, super fun to open. So. Awesome. I, cool. I have never tried a boom box. Ed, Mike, have either of you tried a boombox? I want to say I may have tried one early on in their existence. Um, I think I was on, you know, uh, filming tents for a little bit, and I think I tried this one for a few months um, back then. But back then I was buying hobby product, you know, to break anyway, so I didn't keep doing it. Wow, well, they are very reasonable. Yeah, especially for like, I think uh, in January, which obviously won't work if you're getting Christmas gifts, but in January for the football one, you're getting a Prism Hobby Pack, which is, of course, like an $80 pack in your platinum box. So, jeez. Hail I Murray know. ticket. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. All right, cool. Like it. Well done. Ed, what about you? All right. I went with repacked wax. I don't know if any of you guys have cracked any of repacked wax yet. Anyone? Nope, no. No. Um, they actually just released football also, I believe, which I have not opened. Um, but it's actually a really fun rip, and it's actually really, really fun for people that are kind of just coming back into the hobby, um, want that kind of nostalgia feel. Um, you get 36 packs. They're all sealed in wax, like real wax. Um, they hand press them with an iron. It's it's pretty nuts. Um, but you can find uh, some pretty fun stuff in there. We pulled a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie out of a pack. Um, I pulled like this 59 Don Drysdale out of a pack. Nice. Um, so yeah, they're just fun. It's a lot of uh, a lot of randomness, but I feel like they're better quality than like the Fairfield packs you get at like Walgreens and stuff. And you do pull some older stuff out of them um so yeah definitely just kind of kicks that nostalgia button and uh um just a lot of fun to open so if if you can find them there they tend to go out of stock pretty quick but they've been doing a better job of keeping them like keeping them coming so so is it all vintage stuff is that what i'm seeing here they that started popping in a little bit of modern in them um but not much like you may get some bowman Bowman chromes from like uh 2014 15. Okay. Um you'll you'll get some like 2020 tops and stuff in them, but it's it's mostly um junk wax era and earlier. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. never heard of them. This is great. I'm trying to figure out where they're out of. Doesn't matter. Nice. Uh okay. Uh so so mine under 200 bucks. I this is not because they've been a sponsor with us, but really because I think it's super practical and I actually really enjoy their stuff. And that is the XL bolt card case from Pastime Marketplace. So with this one, the difference here, and it's out of stock now, I think they're going to have some more this week, um, is that there's not like predetermined spots for your, your slab. So you can fit, a, I mean, you could fit, it says 230 PSA slabs, 160 BGS slabs. You line them up; they're against each other. But you can also put 
your one touches in there and your top loaders and it fits really nicely. Um, so my favorite of the, all of the products they offer is the XL bull car case. Now, Mike, do you have this one or do you have a different one? No, I have the one with the pre cut, uh, okay. spot. I think this one would be preferable, honestly. Uh, yeah. and if you have them, your slabs in perfect fit sleeves, who cares if they're next to each other, they won't get scratched. That's right. That's right. And, and best part is, uh, if you use bench, cl uh, bench clear, let me put this up here so people can see it. Use code bench clear. Don't get 10% off anymore. You get 15% off. Ooh, nice. Nice. Just for the month of December, 15% off anything on pastime marketplace. Um, so yeah, go check that one out. That's, it's a great gift for, for folks grading, not just graded cars, but also just their top loaders and one touches and all that stuff. All right, Mike, you got anything you want to say or, or on $200? I do. I, I shared my screen again. Awesome. So uh, this is a great, absolute kind of must have if you're a vintage card collector. And that's to have a standard catalog of baseball, of vintage baseball cards. And it doesn't matter. They have a lot of different editions. You can go on Amazon and just put in standard catalog of baseball cards. And you'll be able to find all the different editions. Most of them stop around 1990 in terms of, but you can have this amazing catalog. It's so cool. And it's just a great source of information for that vintage collector in your life. So can you do the look inside button there? Yeah, I can. So oh. can you read the first chapter to us? No, but it talks about, I mean, it gives a lot of just stuff about the hobby and then it just has, it looks like an old Beckett, right? Mm -hmm. And it's got prices. Don't, I mean, the prices aren't going to be relevant necessarily. It's more of a, just a catalog and just to see different cards. And I, I just think it's a great reference, kind of just kind of a standard thing. Most collectors. So it's a full have. catalog. So it doesn't, it shows all the cards. Doesn't take some out like. Correct. It's got okay. everything in here. Cool. So, and all the weird esoteric pre-war sets or you name it, it's in here. Wow. And it's really really just again a great resource to have at your side here's uh here i'll get rid of this let's get rid of my screen so here's mine <laughs> so and it goes through 1980 so this is 1863 to 1980 some of them go as far as 1990 um i didn't really i wanted them for the old stuff so it didn't matter any i don't consider anything vintage after 1980 anyway so there you go. Great resource, I'm telling you. Luke and Ty aren't vintage, according to Mike. Well, <laughs> Luke's certainly not vintage. <laughs> uh, nice. Nuts. There's like 90% of things you've shown I have not even heard of. This is great. This is great stuff. Okay. $500 and under. This is for the very, very special person. <laughs> Not a stocking stuffer. Uh, all right, and let's start with you. What's right, uh, mine, Mine's not actually near $500, but it is under $500. So, you know, and you could probably go overboard on this um, and get more expensive ones. Um, but just a display case, frame, wall mount of some kind for your your slabs or your top loaded cards or your one touch cards, just some way to display them. Hopefully not in a place where they're getting direct sunlight, um, you know, nice and protected, but just a way to display the, the cards that you love um, on the wall or something somewhere. So they're not hidden from view from everybody. I have a buddy of mine that they got one of these and modified it. To because he played baseball, played minor league baseball, and he put a baseball above each card of the player he played against. And oh, so wow. he has like a player who hit a home run off him. It's all players that hit home runs off him as a pitcher. I'm like, oh, you want to advertise that or not? But um, it's really unique. But this is uh do you guys have one of these hanging in your house? No, I would like one for Christmas, maybe. <laughs> hint hint. <laughs> Not from you, Ty. <laughs> I see these all the time on people's videos and stuff. Uh -huh. and they, they look great. I've never used them, but 
we have one we got i actually got our my dad one for his birthday a few months ago and it's now hanging in our dining room nice cool. that's the place to have your cards is in the dining room <laughs> that's right Heck yeah exactly. screw the family photo exactly <laughs> if i wanted to stay married i would I would certainly, if I didn't want to stay married, I guess I should say I would do that, but. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you want mine, Ty? My under 500 gift? Sure. All yeah. right. So it's on my screen there. You can share my screen again. When is it a good time to buy a Mickey Mantle card? It's always a good time to buy a Mickey Mantle <laughs> card. And people think, well, you can't, I can't afford Mickey Mantle. Well, here's. Plenty of tops Mickey Mantle cards that you can buy for under $500. And I can promise you, whoever the collector in your life is out there, they're never going to be mad at you for buying them a Mickey Mantle card. But I'd buy a graded one. So go out there and buy Mickey Mantle cards. You won't be disappointed. Interesting. I would not be upset if I got a Mickey Mantle. Who would? He's yeah. crazy. <laughs> That's the one player, like seriously, you could say any collector that knows anything about the hobby, if you gave them Mickey Mantle card, they they can't be mad at you. It's a, like a law. <laughs> they go to jail. They, they go, go to cardboard jail. jail. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. I like it. 500 bucks for under. Buy Mickey Mantle. All right, Luke, you and I started getting to, to some specific products. We Here, did. You start we didn't do your 500, Ty. Well, I got I got Luke's up, so I'll let you go. Oh, Luke. okay. So we did 2019 Top Series 2 Jumbo. Um, this is a really, really good and kind of undervalued product. It has Tatis in it. It has Pete Alonzo in it. It has Eloy Jimenez in it. Um, I think there's someone else, too, that I can't remember. But you got all those guys in there. You get an autograph, a couple relics in every box. It's really fun. Um, and the $468, 450 that you can get it for isn't a terrible price considering what other jumbo boxes with similar rookie classes uh, have in them. So, Ed, do you approve of this? Uh, for that price, no. But that <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Um <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I guess uh, that's just the way the hobby is. So uh, it is a great, uh, it is a great box to get. I agree with you on the price. It is <laughs> expensive. Yeah. What were those? What were those SRP when they came out? We I, we got a case. I think at like one ten a box, maybe. Yep, we I got them from my local shop for 110 a box when they came out. Yeah, exactly. We were paying. <laughs> it was, 110 was steep at the time. Yeah. Wow. This Incredible. was the first one I kind of remember when the hobby took that turn, like that big mm -hmm. turn was, yep. uh, was this one. Cause the price of this just kept going. Yeah. Agreed. It was like 2018 update and 2019 series two would not stop going up. Yeah. Um, okay. So my, my under 500, I know we're entering the basketball season. So I was, I was really digging around because I know, Basketball collectors are itching for product that somewhat has you know, some degree of value in it. And so there's there's one product in particular that you could still get for under 500 that I think is well worth diving into. And that is 2019-20 Chronicles Basketball. Um, so here's the thing. Cello boxes are going for somewhere around three, 350. Um, you can get them for that much. In comparison, so most 18, 19 basketball products uh, are kind of on an equal playing field in terms of price with 19, 20 products. But Chronicles cello boxes for 18, 19 are selling for $1,000 right now. 19, 20s are 300 bucks. I think it's an incredible value. If you could snag a few, I think this is probably one product that absolutely goes up in price once the season starts. And uh, it's a really, Luke, you know this, it's a super fun product to open Chronicles basketball. So. Cool. Luke, do you not know this? I do know this. Okay. I don't know if you're done or not. Chronicles is definitely one of my favorites to open. There's so many rookies in it. It's awesome. Um, and that is definitely, I even, I think on black Friday, you could get them for like two twenty five at a few places. Gosh. There's no one. Um, so definitely an awesome value. Crazy. 
I remember beginning of this past season, everyone was like, man, I missed them. I missed the opportunity to go grab uh, 1819 Chronicles. And then here we are entering and Chronicles for some reason again dropped in price. So it's great value. All right. Um, do you guys have any gifts under a thousand you want to talk about? Or do you want to throw out a couple more ideas, just random, random thoughts? Mike, anything under a thousand? Any any big ticket items? None that come to mind in turn. But I mean, I think we everybody needs to know that, man, it's never a bad thing to ask for. Uh, Christmas is a time to get things you wouldn't normally buy for yourself for whatever reason. And everybody hates buying uh, supplies, right? Because it's, ugh, I don't want to buy supplies. Well, great. Put it on your Christmas list and give it to someone else to buy for you. You know, send them links, send them Amazon. I mean, it's great to get that kind of stuff because you need it. You just don't want to spend your, your hobby money on that stuff because you want to spend it on cards, right? And so have someone else spend their money for you to get that stuff that you need for your uh, collection anyway. You know, so don't be afraid to just send ideas around. I think we're, we're so hesitant to do that for whatever reason, maybe because, but collecting cards is cool again. So actually it's cool to tell people now that you're a card collector. Whereas before you might not want to let the cat out of the bag by telling people, Hey, will you buy me this baseball card or this basketball card <laughs> or buy me these supplies? Cause they'll look at you like you're crazy. Are for you? How much? Yeah. For how much? And you're 12 years old or what? Yeah. No offense, Luke. You're not 12 though, but you know, it's cool again. So you can, you know, let the, let the secret out that you're a card collector and people tell them even, you know, who you collect. And that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, that's, I agree. I agree. It's almost scary how many people in my circle now are talking about sports cards at my house when they come over. You know, it actually almost makes me mad. Get off my lawn. It's almost too cool now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's let's throw out a couple honorable mentions. I know we put some on there, and there's a couple product ideas we had, and then a couple last thoughts on subscriptions. Because I think subscriptions are kind of uh, a, a, people don't talk about them a lot, but they're very handy when you have them. Um, a couple products. So let's start with um, I don't know who put this on there, but series one. Uh, 2001 20, Series One Hobby Box was that you, Ed? 2018. Yeah. Oh, well, someone put 2020 Series oh. One. Um, I think that was actually me. Now that I think yeah. about it, wasn't me. Um, which it's it's not. I mean, I I want to say it's 150. Here, I'll just throw up my screen. Here you go. Yeah, it's 150 Series One. You got Bo Bichette. <laughs> you got Gavin Lux. You got Alvarez. Um. You got some of Rosarina stuff now that's pretty popular. It's uh, for 150 bucks. I feel like that's a pretty good deal for a an outstanding rookie class. And so, I think you could I think you can get retail boxes for yeah. around 80 maybe. So, if you're just trying to pull those rookies and nothing special. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. And then you put up um 2018, was that you? Yeah, 2018 series 1. I feel like it's uh, really underrated. Um, the rookie class, I mean, a, a lot of them haven't quite shown yet. or But, I mean, it's like Devers, Flaherty, Robles, mm -hmm. Bueller, Woodruff, Hoskins, Albies, Verdugo, Max Freed. Um, all of those are in 2018 yeah. Series 1. Um, so I actually have two boxes of it just sitting here. I've just been scooping them up um, and, and holding on to them for, for a bit. So, nice. Mainly for Devers and Verdugo for myself. But... Um, Heck yeah. yeah, that's a good. That's 146 for a jumbo box. That's insane. Yeah, that's insane. Um, and then Luke, you threw one up too. I think it's a great one. Um, mosaic mega boxes. You think that's a good deal at 125? At 125, I think that they are still not that bad of a deal um, compared to other football stuff that you can buy. You're getting you're only getting 40 cards which is kind of expensive but the amount of rookies and color and the potential to get autographs and stuff the autos really aren't that hard to pull out of these um numbered parallels there's all kinds of stuff in these and they the value on them is like really really good in terms of resale value of the rookies and the parallels of the rookies and i also think this football class is pretty solid so 
It's a great one. Yeah. It's crazy. Those were 50 bucks just six weeks ago. Well, I shouldn't say that. You could go, you could go fight in line at Target and Walmart to get them for 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't really 50 bucks. Um, Mike, any products come to mind for you? I know you're not open a lot of wax, so it's probably not. Well, I would tell you if you can, you should go buy a 2020 Tops baseball complete set if you can find one. Um, I think they're starting to hit the shelves a little bit more now. And I'm hoping Luke may know more than this for me, but uh, Tops Holiday is going to be coming out soon, I think, next week maybe. And that's that's a fun rip. I actually ripped several blasters last year to put together a set just because I thought it's a great concept and it's, it's different. But any if you can get a complete set for – there's one for $72 free shipping. Uh, anything around 70 bucks, I think is – you know, they're 60 bucks at the – or 50, you know, 49 to $60 depending on whether it's Target or Walmart. And I think that's just a great value just to grab that stick. Always get a complete set every year. I think it's a great idea. And my target actually, I don't think they ever even ran out of them. They always seem to have. Yeah. Same here. Two or three of them there. So. Yeah. If you can buy them retail or cheap, they're a little bit cheaper than you can find them on eBay. But uh, the Walmart ones have the rookie exclusive parallels, the photo variations, as well as the, uh, the foil board ones. They're not called full board this year for some reason. I can't remember yeah. what they're called, but the target, I can't remember what the exclusive is in the target, but purple set. Is that right? Those yes. The purple one Got yeah, it. target. So always a good idea. Love it. That's a good one. Yeah. I just, just yesterday we were at target with the kids and I saw two sets sitting there kind of surprised me because I'd watched your video trying to find those complete sets. Did you buy one? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't either when I saw them. Yeah, I know. I, I have too many. Being a great idea, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming from the guy who graded 150 Louis Roberts, right? So I have enough complete sets sitting around. Well, but I think it is a great gift idea from Incredible somebody idea. Yeah. That, that knows you collect cards. I mean, my mom always used to just buy these sets, you know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Definitely yeah. a great idea, Mike. Thank you, Ed. You're welcome. I like Luke, Luke bought one, I think, or several. Yeah, we have a, a few laying around. Um, they're really fun. And the bonuses you get are actually nice too. But just having the complete set um, sealed is always something you should pick up. And I was going to say, I really like the holiday box idea as well. We open up tons of those every year. We haven't seen them yet, so hopefully they come out soon. But uh, those are always a ton of fun. That's that's uh, Tops, right? Not Bowman. Yep. Correct. Right. Let's just see if they're popping up on eBay yet. And they're not. Well, no, here you go. Here's a red hot. There's a snowman on there. That might be the same thing. Yeah. I don't think so. stuffer. The same. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Don't click that. It's not the top holiday pack, guys. <laughs> All right. So let's uh let's real quick talk about subscriptions. And I'll start with this one because I think this is this is something I use a lot. Um, and a lot of people don't know about this, but I use the trade rumor sites for a ton of information that kind of, uh, helps me work on analytics and find players to collect and trade and all that stuff. So if you go, you can buy membership and it'll remove ads, you get stuff a little bit faster. Um, it's 30 bucks a year. Um, but it's the hoop rumors, it's the MLB trade rumors, it's pro football. It's real time information with insight that is great for kind of fueling sports car knowledge. So that's kind of my one quick subscription I think is really helpful. What about you guys? Uh, for me, I think if you buy sports cards on eBay and you don't own some type of sniping software, you are missing out. And the one I use is Gixen, G-I-X-E-N. Uh, and it is a whole $6 a year. So there's Gixon right there. You can just sign up. It's $6 a year. You put in as many as you want. You can snipe like crazy, and it's the way to buy your cards. For those that don't know what sniping is, what exactly are you, are you saying here? So it puts in a bid for you. At You set up the time frame. Usually I put it four, five, six seconds before the auction ends, you put in your max bid and then you, how many times have we all forgotten? About, oh, I forgot that card I wanted ended and I missed it or whatever. This eliminates that problem and you don't have to sit there and wait on your computer for the last 
you know, however long you sit there till you can finally hit bid and it makes all the difference in the world. It's such a just time saver, you know, getting, making sure you get the stuff you want. Awesome. Six bucks. That's so cheap. My goodness. Yeah. A year, $6 a year. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. It's to maintain their awesome looking website. <laughs> <laughs> Seven thousand seventy nine users with pending snipes right now. Whew. There you go. It's a lot of snipes. Quick math. That's that's forty nine grand a year they're making. Okay. Um, all right. So wait, hold on. I got a subscription. Yeah. What is it? You're gonna love me, Ty. Oh. It's actually the Breaker Culture Patreon. Oh, stop. I'm serious. Um, the information that Ty puts out, if you are in this hobby, um, not just collecting, but, um, trying to turn a profit. Um, I believe Ty is the best in the business at getting you the analytics too. Um, <laughs> Ryan. All right. you can pay me later, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but honestly, uh, definitely check out the breaker culture, uh, Patreon. Show Thank it. You. There you go. There you go. Nice. Yeah. What's, um, Someone put Beckett in there. Someone want to talk about Beckett? Um, I put Beckett in there just um, mainly to – I get the uh, – I get it, actually get it in the mail now just to kind of read. I don't use it for pricing. It's mainly yeah. to read the stories they have in the first six pages of it. Yeah. Um, so – Show real quick. Add to stream. Do you guys I, still use Beckett? Like, honestly, do you still use Beckett? I used to get them when we, when I was a little bit younger, I, I love reading those. Um, yeah. I never use it for pricing. Cause I mean, even like 2013, it was out of date, but the, just reading the stories and stuff is really fun. And it's pretty, it's written in a way that's easy to understand when you're like 10, 11, 12 years old. Um, so if you have a kid that you're trying to get to read and they like sports cards, then there you go. There you go. I like it. Good justification. Uh, any more subscriptions? Or are you guys good? Good. Cool. Hey, can we give uh, away something? Do you have something to give away? Yeah, I want to give away a $50 gift card to eBay. Oh, which is a great thing to give people, gift cards to eBay. That's uh, that in all-encompassing. Go get the gift you want. Uh, you, sure, what do, you, uh, what do you want people to put in the comments? Well, I'd love a comment on what you think would be a great gift idea, what ideas you heard here tonight that you thought were uh, helpful. Uh, but just make a comment and we'll do a drawing, a random comment drawing later. Like the video. If you haven't subscribed to Bench Clear Media, all of us are members of Bench Clear Media and we all do different uh, content for the channel, for the network. So we really appreciate everybody's support and hope you enjoyed this video and leave a comment, subscribe like absolutely Smash absolutely that like button <laughs> Slam that like. overused statement on on youtube <laughs> last question for you guys what's your what's your go-to holiday snack like what do you what do you look forward to for holiday treats do y'all did y'all ever y'all know what Chex mix is right but you can do like a holiday version and my it gets bathed in worcestershire sauce or what i can't even say that word very well but it makes what? it Super salt. I'm serious. It is like crack. I mean, I just can't stop eating it. It probably tastes like crack. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Have you ever had it, Luke? It, it's good. It's really good. I'm it's okay. really good. It Seriously? sounds. It sounds disgusting. I'm telling you. It's How, why try to screw with the great thing. I mean, puppy chow was going to be my treat. I was going to mention. It's my all time favorite holiday snack. That's a great puppy one chow? too. Okay. I am a big fan. Walmart for the past like 10 years exclusively puts out sugar cookie pop tarts and I'm addicted to those. They're very, very solid. Wow. Nice. Homemade. Exactly. It's a lot of work. Walmart pop tarts. And what about you? Uh, me a little more uh, traditional. Uh, we have a big Portuguese family, so 
we have some traditional things that we usually only eat during the holidays. Um, sweet bread, rice pudding, smash them together. Um, Baklava? Uh, I don't know. That, that's I don't not know what Portuguese. that is. I don't know either. <laughs> that's not <laughs> Anyways, uh, you can look it up if you want. Um, but mostly traditional, you know, stuff from the family. Um, or super excited when, you know, Starbucks comes out with the peppermint frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. nice um we have had our fair share of those trust me <laughs> peppermint mochas oh my goodness oh my goodness uh, yeah. all right guys it's been great thanks for putting some time into this thank you merry, merry christmas. christmas merry christmas uh, the energy is just it's overwhelming <laughs> 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 all right guys see you all right